Hello everyone. Today let us learn how to write a story, a short story. A story is a series of events, incidents and experience or a beautiful presentation of events, incidents and experience in the life of characters. It should involve characters as well as they should be doing some action in order to make the story interesting. Elements should be used in order to write a perfect story for a perfect score. There are five elements required to write a good story. Setting, characters, plot, surprise or interest and theme. One by one, I'll tell you about these elements and why they are important. First of all, we have setting. Setting is all about revealing time and place. Usually setting is revealed in the beginning, which is known as conventional beginning of a story. For example, once upon a time, there was a kind and compassionate king in the kingdom of Vijayanagar. Or long, long ago, there was a princess who could not see. Such beginning sentences reveal time and place about the story. But there is nothing hard and fast about the story. This setting may also be revealed somewhere in between along with the development of the story. Next, we have characters. There should be at least three, four or five characters in the story. But again, I would say that there is nothing hard and fast. Things are a little flexible about the story. You may use two characters also, but in order to make story more interesting and appealing, you should keep at least three or four characters in your story. Dialogue should be given to them and they should be involved in some action or interesting incidents should happen in their life. Next very important element is plot. Plot is all about main storyline. Before writing the story, you should know what you are going to write about. Before hand only, you should think whether your story will be about a villager who happens to go to a city and faces many challenges. Or your story will be about a boy who is habitual of telling lies and how life teaches him a lesson. Then this main storyline can be converted into a beautiful story through the development of incidents and involving characters. Next very important element is surprise or interest. It's all about using twists and turns in the life of characters. You should be able to keep the readers glued. All the time they should be thinking what is going to happen next. There should be nail biting moments in your story. Element of surprise only can make your story perfect. Next we have theme. Theme is about the idea which is projected through the story. Your theme should tell what is conveyed through your story. The theme of your story may be friendship, unity, greed for money, or importance of education or any such thing. Some or other important idea should be conveyed through your story. Here, very important thing I would like to share. I have read the stories written by students where they write dream stories in which many interesting incidents happen in the life of character, but at the end it happens to be a dream or in some story, many interesting incidents happen in the life of character and at the end it happens to be a surprise birthday. Such stories do not make much sense. You should write a meaningful story with a meaningful thought. Then only you can get perfect score. Story is about getting 10 marks. You cannot risk 
10 marks. So use these elements and write a beautiful story. Now I will tell you how the story should develop. There are certain stages through which the story should develop. And the first stage is exposition. Exposition means revelation. Revealing the time, place and characters. Mostly in the beginning only an idea is given. The story is about either a village or a city or it is about college or a kingdom. Whether it is about some villagers or many lenders or college students and so on. This is known as exposition. And after exposition, there should be some action involving the characters. Some events or accidents or incidents should happen in the life of characters. And when the action is going on, you should involve conflict. Conflict is basically creating hindrance or problems in the life of characters which are against the main action. For example, some character is going to give his interview and he forgot his documents at home. Or a villager is going to sell his things in the city and there was robbery, robbers attacked him. So this is known as conflict. It makes the story interesting. And creating some conflicts, the story should reach the climax, the peak of the action, where the action grows and after that, anything could happen. There we have climax. And after the climax, the action falls down and it goes towards the solution which is known as anti-climax. At climax the problem got very difficult and after that the problem is in the process of solution and when that process is complete that is known as resolution. Last stage of the story and at resolution all the problems are solved and the story ends in happiness. But again, I will tell you, there is nothing hard and fast about the beginning of the story as well as the ending of the story. Your story may end in sorrow or it may have some unexpected ending also. So, it is all about you and your idea. There are certain points to remember regarding the style and language of the story. Title should be written in the beginning and in the center. It also should be underlined. Some beginning or hints are given in the question. Those hints can be in form of picture or the words. That beginning or the hints only should be used to write the story. It should be narrated in either first or third person. First person is I or we, third person is he, she, they. Usually it should be narrated in third person. And it can be narrated along with the description as well as the dialogues spoken by the characters. Now let's see how the story should be composed using all the important elements required for it. Now let's solve a question for your better understanding. Once there was a boy in a village, his name was Abdul. He lived with his mother in a small hut. One day the boy headed for the city to sell the bundle of his logs as it was his livelihood. This is the beginning given in the question. Now you have to complete the story in about 200 words, 150 to 200 words for 10 marks. Now let's write the story for the question. Once there was a boy in a village, his name was Abdul, who lived with his mother. One day he headed for the city to sell the bundle of his logs, as it was his livelihood. So this was the beginning given in the question. And in the beginning itself, revealing of time and place is done. As well as character and his name Abdul is also revealed. So you don't need to worry about exposition. You need to continue writing after the beginning. 
Abdul sold all his locks by the evening and was very happy to earn a handsome amount of money. With this, we can see that little action took place in the life of character, which is the second stage of story development. While returning, it started raining heavily. Now he was worried to think that his notes may get wet. Here, conflict or natural conflict is being used. Abdul was very happy to sell his logs, but it started raining. This is a problem. And now he is thinking about his notes. Then he saw a small house at a distance. He thought of getting into the house, but was scared. Then he realized somebody tapped on his shoulder. With this, the action has gone more intense. You will get wet here, said the man in his 40s. Come with me. I live nearby. You can also see that dialogues are given to the characters and this way the story becomes more realistic using the dialogues. They reached the house and he was about to sit on a cot. He saw a knife in the man's hand. Another conflict is used. The man who was supposed to help Abdul happened to be a robber. He had a knife. Before he could speak anything, the man stared at him with wild eyes and roared, Give me the money. I am very poor and my mother would be waiting for me. Please leave me. More dialogues are given to the character. Abdul uttered in a feeble voice. The man clutched his shirt and took his money forcibly. Abdul fell at his feet and said, I can't go to my mother empty-handed. Please give my money back. Therefore, he decided to kill Abdul. With this, the story reached climax. The action has gone to the peak where anything can happen and readers will be thinking whether Abdul will be killed. As he was going to stab, the stranger appeared from nowhere like a Masiha and held his hand. And with this sentence, the climax has turned into anti-climax. The stranger appeared and now the story moved towards the solution because we can naturally guess that the stranger will be helping Abdul. After struggling for some time, the stranger got control over him and snatched his knife. He forced the man to give money back to Abdul. Now the story has reached resolution. While he was thinking what happened and how it happened, he reached his home with his mother waiting for him with tears in her eyes. And with this, all the problem is solved and the story has reached its last stage, which is resolution. And with this, we may have a happy ending of the story. But as I have told you earlier, there is nothing hard and fast. Your story may have a happy ending or a sorrowful ending or completely unexpected ending. So it is up to you. Only it should be little logical. Last thing, writing moral is not mandatory, not necessary until or unless it is asked. Thank you. I hope you have understood how to write story. Keep watching my channel. Keep learning with me. If you like my videos, subscribe my channel. Bye-bye. All the best.